Oh, yay! I'm really excited about this. Didn't expect that. I'm obsessed. Where I want good quality plants, you want good quality plants. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, and today we're gonna do another little planty haul. So the plants from today's haul have come from Root House Plants, and something that I really love about their website is that they have kind of more funky plants, like a bit more rare, exotic kind of plants, in addition to like the normal Monstera Deliciosa Pothos situation. They've got a bunch of philodendrons, some alocasias, loads of other things that I can't name off the top of my head because I can't remember anything, but like a bit more funk in their plants than some of the other houseplant sellers that I found online in the UK. Root is a Liverpool-based houseplant shop. I think they've got a brick and mortar store up in Liverpool, which is super cool. I think it's closed right now because of coronavirus, but um, that's, everything's closed because of coronavirus, which is totally fine. It needs to be closed, social distancing is really important. Their online site is still open and delivering across the UK, which is great. They have still quite a lot of different stock right now. I think their stock has gone up and down, but they're really good about letting you know on the website when new stock is coming in before it comes in. So you know what's coming for like Friday or something instead of immediately having to check every day. So they're really good about that and they're really good about telling people on Instagram when they're getting new stock. And they get quite a lot of stock when they get it. So I thought that was really cool. One of their main cares is about their plants and making sure that they're sourcing good quality plants that are really suitable to go into your home. And I think that's really important because you don't want your plant seller to be giving you bad plants. And then once you get the good plants, they wanna make sure that you know how to take care of them super well. And so they make sure that they can give you the help that you need to take care of your plants long after you have got them. So since they specialize in more exotic and a bit rare-ish plants, I figured it'd be fun to get some of those to show you today and Root very kindly gifted them to me so I could show them to you today. So thank you very much Root for that. I'll show you what showed up on my doorstep. I, like, I physically don't know how to show you this. It's just so big. I think it goes up to about my chest when I'm standing. It's tall, but yeah. I think the, the packaging is really nice. First off the bat, it's got it's nice and branded. So that's good. The box is actually in really good condition, which I like. I love when my plant boxes come really not scrunched up because then I'm not as afraid of my plants being dead inside. So that's good. Before I open this thing, I just wanted to say, if you like this video, please go give it a thumbs up down below and comment on other places you might want me to do a haul from or other plenty things and subscribe for more. And Let's open this bad boy up. I don't even, I don't even know how to do this. Like, am I supposed to stand? Okay, so I've just shifted the camera angle a little bit because it's so freaking tall that I don't know how to open this. So I think I'm gonna try and open it standing up. I don't know. Also, they have their own branded tape on here, which is super nice. It looks like paper tape as well. So that's really good. That means it is recyclable. Root have been making a really big effort to make sure that all of their packaging is plastic free, which is great, super sustainable. I think that's a really important thing for them. I'll actually open it now. Sorry, I've been rambling and stuff. <laughs> right in the inside of the package, there are these little foamy peanuts, but I'm pretty sure these are the starch peanuts that you put in water and they just disintegrate, which is pretty cool. I don't know where else to put them. <laughs> I've reached paper. Okay. So this is the first plant that was on top. It's wrapped in paper, as you can see here, which is good, better than plastic. Oh, that's really cute. It's tied with a little bit of string there. This is really well done packaging. Oh, yay. I'm really excited about this. Didn't expect that. This is in one of their Cocoa Quora pots. 
So instead of the little plastic nursery pot that you get, this one's in a little cocoa core pot, which is completely bio biodegradable. Made out of like palm trees or something, which is amazing. So this one right here is a Philodendron Rojo Congo. And it's freaking gorgeous. Like, just look at those really dark, luscious leaves. I'm obsessed. Can I say the least with philodendrons at this current point? I now have so freaking many. I got one and then I was like, I need to have them all, I guess. So <laughs> I have a lot now. I think I've got like six or something, which is excessive. But yeah, it's got really nice, thick, leathery kind of leaves. And it's got gorgeous red stems. It's got a new leaf, which is really good. You know me, if it's got new leaves, then I know it's a healthy boy. This beauty right here was 11 pounds. Like, what the heck? 11 pounds, that's insane. Like, it's huge. I mean, not huge, but like, there are so many other plants that are way smaller than this that aren't anything special that cost more than 11 pounds. So 11 pounds, good deal. I'm really excited about that. And this pot is just, it's everything. It's everything because I'm not worried about plastic, which is probably the biggest issue with the houseplant industry because it's kind of sustainable, but also the plastic nursery pots everywhere makes it kind of not. So I don't know. I'm glad that this is a thing. Let's see what's next. It's like a lucky dip in here. I kind of forget what I ordered, so. I am really excited about this one. I saw this one on their Instagram stories and I was like, I, that's, that's what I need, I need that. This is a Hoya Carii Variegata. So, I've also kind of gone in Hoyas quite a lot recently. I love how they're just kind of chill plants and they do their thing and they take time to do their thing slowly. I've always seen the Hoya Carry or Carry Eye, the like plain green one. And I thought his heart leaves were pretty cool, but what's cooler than a plain green heart is a freaking variegated heart. So, I mean, what's not to love? This one looks really healthy. I think it definitely needs a water. It's a bit floppy in the leaves, but that's totally fine. They've been in the mail. You can't expect them to be like perfect, perfect. There doesn't seem to be any signs of pests on either of the plants that I just opened, which is really good. They look really healthy. Super excited about them. I just think it's so cute. It's got, it's just, it's just got its little heart-shaped leaves. Perfect to give to someone that you love. Kind of like the standing up video style because I can, I can dance from here. Do the plant things. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> stop now. This one did come in a plastic pot, but like I said, they're working on getting as many plants as possible into the cocoa coir pots. So that'll take time, it's a process. Sustainability in any industry is gonna take a while. So they're doing right, they're doing right. This beauty right here was 21 pounds. It's quite a small plant, but I think I think that's a good deal because I haven't seen these variegated Hoya carry eyes anywhere. I think, I think it's good. I think we've got a winner here. So I think I'm really happy about it. Next, next, next. God, I forget how excited I am about all these plants. Like when you put in an order in an online shop, it's kind of like Christmas, because I forget that they exist until they're in my house. <laughs> this one here is a Monstera Peru. I thought I would add more plants to my Monstera family. I think it's technically an Epipremnum pinatum. It's called a Monstera Peru, and I think they're just so beautiful. Like the leaves have this gorgeous sort of texture on them. They kind of get scaly looking. This Monstera Peru was 14 pounds. Yeah, it looks really healthy. It's got some new growth on here. The new growth is like ever so slightly lighter than the older growth. Whoa, this leaf is freaking huge. Oh my goodness. It's hard to see, but like this whole thing here, it's just one leaf. This is gonna be awesome. I'm pretty sure these vine down eventually. And I think once it gets settled in our flat, it'll kind of 
spread out more and show us the joy that is a Monstera Peru a bit. All really good in the hood. Monster me up. So inside of the box, there were these two really cute cards. So this one just has the Roots logo on it and on the back is a really lovely handwritten note, which is super adorable. And then a little thank you for your purchase and how to care for your new leafy friends, which is fantastic. This is really cute packaging. I think they've done a really good job with the branding. I like the sort of pink and green vibes going on. I think it kind of works well with a lot of houseplants. So I think that's super cute. Mm, thank you. I think I've got one more in this box, but I don't know how I'm gonna get to it. Maybe I can catch the paper. Nope, that's a leaf. I think I'm gonna have to open it from the bottom. <laughs> that's really fun. Lastly, I have this. This here is a cast iron plant. Basically, they're known for being super solid plants, hence the name cast iron. They can live in like a lot of different places and they don't need that much light or attention, which is great because I think I'm gonna put it downstairs in our bedroom because there isn't as much light or attention down there as there is up here in the living room. It's just got these like really beautiful, massive, fronds, I guess you could call them, all coming off of little stems up in there. So I decided to get this one because they don't really sell them in a lot of general retailers, just because it takes quite a long time for the plant to get this big. They're really slow growers. And so it's a lot of effort and space at the nursery to get these to sort of a sellable size. And so they're not quite as common as a lot of other houseplants out there that are like low light, low maintenance. So I decided that this one would be a really good one. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it in the house, which is super exciting. This beauty was 30 pounds on their website, which I think is pretty reasonable seeing as they tend to be a bit more expensive anyway, because like I said, they do take a long time at the grower, but I think it's a pretty good deal. It's quite a big plant, probably about 60 centimeters, including the pot, which is really nice. Goodness, these are all just so fabulous. Such good quality plants. And also they send you a care guide for all of them in the email after you have placed your order. And so in-depth care guides on each of the plants to make sure that you know how to take care of them well, which is really good. They're just doing a good job. This is just such, such good service. So there was actually one more plant that I was supposed to get from them. I was supposed to get a Neon Pothos from them as well, but they ended up messaging me on Instagram saying that the Neon Pothos that they received in their order from their grower wasn't up to their standards. Basically it didn't pass their quality control tests. And so they ended up sending them back to them and they wouldn't send them out just because they weren't up to the quality that they want to provide, which I think as like bummed as I am about not getting a Neon Pothos, I think it's really good that they're putting their customers first in that sort of thing. And they're not willing to sell plants that don't meet a certain level of quality. I mean, if all of their plants are this level of quality, Wow, that is absolutely spectacular. These are fantastic. These are probably some of the best plants I've received by mail. There's no damage to them whatsoever, which is fantastic. And I couldn't ask for any better, but I think it's really great that they're just making quality one of their most important things. What more can we ask for? I want good quality plants. You want good quality plants. And they're doing their darndest to get us them. I think that's a pretty good little exotic rare plant selection. Some of you might not think those are rare or exotic plants, but they're more rare to me. I haven't been seeing these specific plants on the internet recently. And so they are rare in my mind. They're not like super hard to find, super expensive rare, which they do have on their website as well, but they're rare for me, which is what matters really. They take a lot of pride on switching up their stock quite a lot and making sure that all the plants are fresh and cool. So I think that's really good. Overall, such a good experience working with them. Everyone was super lovely that I spoke to and they're really genuinely looking out for the best 
for all of us, which is better. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? So that's it. That's all from me today in this little fun planty haul. I don't know what I'm doing with my arms. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing the new plants that I got. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. If you want to comment on other shops that you want me to look at or other planty things that you want me to talk about, do it below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!